It's been exactly one year since Porsche first announced they will be building a 911 hybrid, and no other car in the history of the 911 has sparked so many rumors in such a short period of time. But thanks to extensive reporting from Top Speed, Auto Car, and Motor One, We've learned a huge amount of information about the upcoming 911 Hybrid, and here is what we know so far. The first 911 to receive the hybrid drivetrain will be the 992.2 GT2 RS. It will be a mild hybrid only, which means that the car's main power plant will be an internal combustion engine and the electric motor will serve as a power booster only. It will not be a plug-in hybrid, and the battery can only be recharged through energy recuperation. The electric motor will be a modified version of the motor used in the 963 LMDH race car. According to Porsche, the car will look significantly different from the 992.1 GT2 RS. The specs for the 992 GTS according to top speed will be 700 plus horsepower, 737 foot-pounds of torque, and 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.5 seconds. But according to Car and Driver, it will have over 800 horsepower. The GT2 RS will be the last trim offered for the 992.2 chassis, and it will go on sale two years after the 992.2 Carrera first hits the market, most likely in late 2026, selling as a 2027 model. Porsche has been testing the upcoming GT2 RS for about six months now, and for the first generation prototype, they dug up an old 992.1 GT3 RS test mule and installed the new motor and exhaust system. From a quick glance, this car looks to be no different from the original GT3 RS test mule, but when we look closely at the back of the car, we see our first clue that this is something else. The center mount tailpipes are fake, and hidden inside of the rear diffuser are the actual tailpipes, relocated farther out to create room for the new turbochargers. And if we look closely at the intakes located in the rear fenders, we can see they have been modified to house the intercoolers that feed the turbochargers. And attached to the rear bumper cover, there is a piece of molding which most likely serves an aerodynamic testing purpose. The engine also sounds to be turbocharged. If you're new to my channel, I publish original Porsche focused content every Sunday. So if you're not subscribed yet, click below to subscribe. And don't forget to click the notifications bell so you can be notified of my latest videos. And if you would like to support this channel and pick up some unique Porsche merchandise, check out my merch store, which is linked in the description below. The main power plant for the GT2 RS will be a twin turbocharged 3.8 liter flat six engine. And at this point, we don't know if this will be a completely new unit or an update to the current 3.8 liter motor. Rumor has it that the 992.2 Turbo will be receiving a new 3.6 liter motor, and if true, the new GT2 may be receiving a modified version of that unit. The electric motor, which provides a small power boost, was developed by Bosch and Williams Advanced Engineering and will be a modified version of the motor currently powering the front wheels of the 963 LMHD race car. Unlike the 800 volt system in the Taycan, the GT2 will utilize a 400 volt system to keep the electrical components small and light. And like the 963, the electric motor will be located inside the transmission bell housing. The GT2 will be capable of operating purely on electric power, but only for short distances. Like previous versions of the GT2 RS, the car will be rear wheel drive only and will not offer a manual transmission. And the 8 speed PDK from the previous GT2 is expected to carry over to the new model. The battery for the new GT2 RS will be located behind the front seats, 
and will not be directly rechargeable from an outlet. Instead, it will rely on a multi-stage brake energy recuperation system and a variable geometry turbine within the exhaust tract to allow it to generate power under acceleration. Copy, lap director to 10, thank you sir. The new GT2 RS will feature a significant gain in both horsepower and torque. So far, Porsche has only said that they are targeting over 700 horsepower, but since the previous GT2 RS had 690 horsepower and the electric motor is believed to produce between 80 and 100 horsepower, the new GT2 RS could potentially have over 800 horsepower. A 0 to 60 time of 2.5 seconds is expected and the top speed could be as high as 215 miles per hour. We know that the car will look significantly different from the 992.1 GT2 RS and will possibly be adopting some of the aerodynamic features from the GT3 Rennsport R since that is the most aerodynamically advanced 911 to date. To offset the weight of the electrical system, Porsche is expecting to use carbon fiber reinforced plastic for much of the body and polycarbonate for the windows. So the new GT2 RS will have an extremely race car-like appearance. So why has Porsche chosen the GT2 RS for their first 911 hybrid? Porsche has designed this car to be something of a gateway vehicle. By the time it hits the market, people are going to be so excited about the power and the performance and the capability that they won't even be referring to it as a hybrid, much in the same way that nobody refers to the Ferrari SF90 as a hybrid. This car will be Porsche's attempt of getting us to warm up to the idea of a 911 hybrid, so they can introduce a plug-in 911 hybrid in the future to more positive fanfare. But Porsche has continuously stated that the 911 will offer internal combustion versions for as long as it is legal to sell them. Although we may get to a point when the GT3 is the only internal combustion car they offer. The new GT3 RS is still a couple years away, but we should be seeing reveals for the 992.2 base model and Carrera S in about 6 months, and once that happens, the floodgates will open for the 25 or 30 different 911 trims that will be revealed before the GT2 RS swan song is revealed at the end of 2026. Thanks for checking out this video and for more Porsche content that you cannot find anywhere else, click here to subscribe. And don't forget to check out my merch store which is linked in the description below.